All right, let's go ahead and dive into the very first boss fight of the game, as well as an interesting achievement you can get for it. Flavian Lepigomancer. So what you're going to do here is if you're playing as the Gun Knight, go ahead and take a few pot shots at the boss. You can actually skip the entire first wave of the fight if you're the Gun Knight by just taking those pop shots here. Uh, you'll know when you're done fighting him in this bit of the phase by when you won't see any more damage numbers appear. So just go ahead, keep plucking away. If you're the Sword Knight, you're going to have to do the first wave of the fight legitimately. Alright, now for what you actually need to do to engage in those fights. Go ahead, hit that lever. Food will drop down into the conveyor belt. What you're going to try to do is avoid all the traps, avoid the fire. The fire will destroy the food as it goes down the lane. Something important to keep in mind there. Once you have the food in the cauldron, you'll be able to hit the lever in the back. And that'll spawn a wave of the fight. So as mentioned, this first one, if you're the Gun Knight, we're basically skipping. You just gotta dodge this guy. If you're the Sword Knight, this is where you would want to go ahead and take the time to practice against his dive attacks, as well as those three fireball attacks he'll use. Uh, hit and Run is the name of the game. Just be patient, take a swing or two, don't get greedy. Once that wave is complete, though, now we're just in kind of rinse and repeat mode. may end up like me, may take you a couple tries to properly get it, either because of bad timing, a misinput, or just simply, you know, sometimes uh, RG works against you. That's not a problem. These vegetables spawn an unlimited amount of time, so you don't have to worry about working against a clock or a supply load here. Again, a lot of patience is going to go a long way in this game. All right, with that second veggie in, there will be an additional step to the enemy's fight pattern. Initially, just go ahead, take a couple swings, dodge the little dive attack he'll do. Eventually, he'll do some more fireballs. Again, just keep an eye out for those. Keep a healthy distance after an attack. This is the extra step to the fight now. Just go ahead, dodge roll underneath or jump over the different barriers as they appear they will do a hearty good chunk if they hit you i always like to try to stay center just because if you stay center it'll allow you to avoid more easily a lot of the attacks because if you stay far too much on the right or on the left and it's a big block going down that way it can be a little bit harder to judge your timing on a jump or an evasive maneuver to get out of the way in time With that done, there's only one more stage of the boss fight left to get us to. Alright, let's hit that third switch and let's finish this party. So there will be one more element to the boss fight added, uh, but again, the rest of it is pretty standard. Just hit and run, hit and run. This is the additional element. Flavian will block off two of the areas with the fire pillars, causing you to be in a restricted area, making evasive maneuvers a lot harder to do. But just keep an eye out for where they're about to stop, spawn. If you've played an MMO or anything like that before, it's pretty easy to tell where it's going to happen. Just avoid it and make your moves a little bit more tighter. Right. Whenever you get this moment, always go for the free damage, but keep in mind he will explode after a little bit. So if you're playing the Sword Knight, again, don't be too greedy, just swing away. Once Flavian goes down, you'll get this little cutscene showing that you have beat him, as well as a few spoils of war. But we're not fully done with this guy yet. Go ahead, get your spoils of war from the Pigmancer, and then I'm going to show you how to get a little achievement in this game. Thank you. 
All right, waddle your way back over to that lever. Hit the switch, drop the pig, and we're gonna go ahead and start ramming this bacon all the way down the lane, right into the cauldrons. Hit him in the cauldron, hit the switch behind him. And we get a unique scene as well as some unique dialogue that the prince or princess you bring into the dungeon. As well as an achievement. 